It is possible, indeed, for a determined group of people to pull an aircraft. Drag is negligible at low speeds and the only force impeding motion is the rolling friction of the rubber tires on the concrete runway. In the year 2000, a team of 60 British police officers set a world record by pulling a Boeing 747 with a mass of 200,000 kilograms, a distance of 100 meters in 53 seconds. The plane started at rest. Suppose that the coefficient of rolling friction is 0.02. Estimate the force with which with which each officer pulled the plane, assuming constant pulling force and constant acceleration. Okay, so what we have here is essentially a plane. Let's draw my plane on the runway being pulled by 60 police officers. Okay. Um, the plane has a mass of 200,000 kilograms, so its weight, by denoted by this ve vector here, W, will be equal to uh, its mass times the acceleration due to gravity, and that will also be equal to the normal force, the force normal, which is counters the weight of the plane. Um, since it's, we assume the runway is a flat surface, which is equal to the weight, which is equal to m times g. Um, so that is our force normal. What is the, the friction force as the officers are pulling in this direction? There's a force of friction acting in this direction. So the force of friction in this case would be equal to the coefficient of rolling friction because the friction is due to the, uh, the the contact of the wheels of the ti the tires of the uh, aircraft with the concrete times the force normal. So our friction force, which the which the officers have to overcome, will be equal to 0 0.02, which is the coefficient of static friction friction given to us, times our force normal, which is just the weight of the plane. Um, that's 200,000 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second square. So that is our force of friction, our coefficient of friction times the force normal, which gives us thirty-nine. 1,200 newtons is the force of friction that the officers, 60 officers, need to overcome. But it's not only the force of friction, they also have, there's also an acceleration force that's given to us because the plane was moved in this direction um, 100 meters for 53 seconds. So uh, we can calculate our acceleration by using the, um, the position formula which is uh, position final equals position initial plus um, initial velocity times change in time plus half acceleration times change in time the whole square. So with this formula we can basically calculate what our acceleration is um, and use that and then use the acceleration to find out the force with which these officers are pulling in this direction. So our final um, position is 100 meters because uh, the plane moved 100 meters. Our initial position is zero. Our initial velocity is zero. The plane started from rest. So that's that term will be zero. Uh, plus half, the acceleration is what we need to find out. And the change in time is given to us by 53 seconds, so that's 53 squared. So we have 100 um, is equal to half a 53 squared. So 200 divided by 53 squared equals the acceleration. So we do that calculation and what we end up with is our acceleration is 0 0.07119 uh, meters per second squared. That's our acceleration. So our force is equal to our mass times acceleration so our mass is given by 200,000 kilograms. Um, 
times our acceleration of 0 0.07119 meters per second squared. Um, so that force in the forward direction is 14,239, uh, approximately 240 newtons. So it's this force. So the so the officers have to have to push with this amount of force in the forward direction as well as overcome the force of friction which is this in this direction so we add these two forces up our force in the forward and force in the backward because this is the force that the officers need to to apply to overcome the force of friction to move it uh, 100 meters in, in in this direction so we add these two forces up Plus 39,200. We end up with a total force of 53,440 newtons. Divided, we divide this force by uh, the number of officers pulling the aircraft, 60 officers, and each also each officer pulls with a force of um, 890 newtons. That's our answer.